Hello, this is Auntie Nee, and I was on the scene of the Scarlet Ladies, the Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady, in August. I think it was August 8th or 9th. Um, I went with a group of friends, and we had a fabulous time. Uh, I was really scared or apprehensive about going on Virgin, because, you know, when you wait to go on a trip, I don't know about you, but I look at a thousand reviews. I just look at different things, blogs, reviews, and I was like, oh, this is a little bit different. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Um, that was my 39th cruise. And it was a great one. <laughs> All that worrying I did was for nothing. Um, but I'm gonna start at the different categories. Um, the app. The app is aggravating. The apps, it works and then it doesn't. It worked a lot better on the ship, but it still had its glitches like any other app for any other organization or cruise lines. Um, beforehand, it gave me a little trouble. Um, online check-in, that's what was aggravating to me because originally I was going by myself, so I was in a room by myself. And on the day that we can go on and book our, um, all of our meals at the restaurants and check in, I was on there at 12 a.m. And I did it. Later on down the line, one of my friends wanted to um, travel with me, no problem. She got in on my cabin. They programmers, or IT people need to fix that. They shouldn't let, like if a certain, if you have two different people in the cabin, they shouldn't have different, um, what would I wanna say? They shouldn't have different check-in times. It's, it's backwards, it's ass backwards. I mean, if it's one cabin, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be coming together. So why would they have two different check-in times? And why, if, after the second person checks in, it just changes the whole check-in of the first person? person it got on my nerves it caused me stress unnecessarily because when we got there we was able to board right away and they didn't even question it i did status match and that's awesome i status matched with my um status from carnival and i got a deep blue extras which was excellent um and we were able to board together and there was no issue but it, I could have saved some of that worry and aggravation if they would just fix their app. One cabin is one cabin, I don't care. It doesn't make any sense. Um, leading up to the boarding, excellent. I think it took from 10 minutes, if that, from the time I walked up, well, not walked up, went up the escalator and went into the deep blue extra line, got my blue wristband, got my stuff. We were on the ship in less than 10 minutes. It was excellent. So again, all that worrying I did was for nothing. Um, the ship, very nice, a mid-sized ship, very clean, um, very calming, very relaxing. And I know everybody keeps running this in the ground, but I did not miss any bad behind kids and tearing up stuff and all over the place. Um, that was excellent. Um, the staff, what, all of them, with except one staff member, all of the staff members were friendly, nice, accommodating. It was just like they were part of the crowd. Um, I had one little issue with a, a bartender at the SIP um, lounge, and it was, it was Scarlet Night, and they had a drink special. It was a red drink with a little feather in it. And Jamie got on my nerves because every drink they were making looked different. The ones that we seen at first as a group, they were red, they were cute. You know, there was a picture out. I said, oh, I wanna taste that, you know. And when the young lady made it for me, cause he didn't make it. The young lady made it for me. It was like light orange and all of the rest of the drinks were like red, <laughs> like this shirt. And I was like, well, okay, it doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. Tasted it, terrible. I'm a bartender, so I already knew what was up. So I, I, I went back to him, I was like, 
hey, I don't, this drink is not right. And I said, and anything, it don't even look like the rest of the ones that y'all are, um, that y'all are um, advertising and selling. Um, could you just, you know, make it over or something? We don't do that here. So I looked at him. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have spoil my evening. I'm having a good time. I'm like, what do you mean? They don't, we don't do that here. I said, I brought in. You can do that. <laughs> if a person don't like a drink, you know, you just fix it. Why are you arguing with me? I asked you for no money back. I'm asking you to, you know, remake the drink. So he had to go on this long spiel about how it makes him look bad as a bartender and they wasting inventory and he can't make the drink up. And I said, look, we can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. Well, I'm going to just do it for you this time. But you, if you don't like the drink, you need to learn how to read. He's going to tell me that I need to know how to read the, the, um, the description and decide if I want it. Reading the description has nothing to do whether or not you know how to make a drink as a bartender. So, sir, miss me with that and please. So, he pissed me off. He pissed me off so bad that I just... It's so funny because in the app, they'll send you throughout the date. You visited this place. How would you rate this? You visited this place, I noticed. How would you rate this? And lo and behold, I was laying in my um, bed that evening, and they sent me one of those um, requests. I went right on there, and I filled it out, and I sent it. So it was last night. Fast forward to last night. I was at the um, Gun Bay the last night. Love Gun Bay. Get back to that later. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this man came walking up to me, and he was like, now I'm sitting at the table. He was like, are you Janine? And I was like, yes. I was like, what? I ain't did nothing. You know, what's going on? He was like, oh, I'm the head um, bartender for the whole ship. I see that you had a problem. And I wanted to come and apologize to you and ask you what happened. So I explained to him what happened. And he was like, yeah, you don't do that. That was wrong. He was like, well, can I give you a free drink? And could I give you, um, could you come to my bar? He was in my favorite bar down there across from the um, tattoo parlor. That was that bar was on point because it had Don Julio and that's my favorite. <laughs> so and they made good strong drinks out there. And I was like, you know, sir, I said it's enough that you came and you addressed it and you talked to me. I'm like, I have a bar tab that I still ain't finished all of it. I was like, you don't have to, you know, give me no. That's not gonna, you know, that's not gonna help me. And I'm fine, you know. I'm used to alcohol. I don't need an extra drink. So he was like, okay, well, you know, again, we apologize or whatever. So that spoke volumes to me. I mean, I wasn't looking for money or compensation in that, but it's just, that's off putting. You gonna argue with me about a drink that y'all made and it was jacked up and it happens. I've done it. So anyway, okay. So that's it on the staff. Entertainment. Entertainment was decent. Um, it's a little scale back. I will say it's a snooze fest during the day. It's like everybody's chilling. But if that's your thing, then you're going to love it. Everybody's chilling, relaxing. You can go down um, and, and the, um, social craft, the social club, craft social club, and they have um, a game room. When I tell you, I felt like a little girl again. The game room, all the games are free. I played Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, um, Space Invaders, they had everything in there that we used to play, well, that I used to play in my teenage years. And I you had, I had a ball. They had an um, air hockey table. They had pool table. It was just, it was a lot to do down there. So, I mean, you could do that or you could just chill. Uh, it was August and it was hot as Hades. When I tell you I'm a Floridian and I don't sit outside doing August, because during the summer period because it's hot. So it was hot. Um, and it was only one pool and that pool was minuscule. And being that it was so hot, like 98, 100 degrees outside, it was like a bathtub. It was the bathtub temperature. It was a bathtub. The only other water activities you have on the ship is the other, it's supposed to be a big, huge hot tub. It looks like a pool, but it's a hot tub, but it don't bubble, and it was hot. That was a, a, a bathtub. I wasn't getting in none of that because I'm an OCD germ, it, just a whole bunch of butts sitting in there, and it's hot. Zero out of ten wouldn't recommend. So, mm -mm. All they had was hot, those hot tubs in that one little tired pool. Virgin were really 
be a lot better if they had more pools. Not that I'm going to get in a pool anyway, unless I'm the first butt in it during the day. Normally, if I'm on a cruise ship, it's going to be 8 o'clock. I'm up. I'll get in a pool, cool off. And that's the last time they're going to see me for the day till they drain it the next day. And um, I'll start over again. But just because it just be too many, too many butts and some tan lotion. And, mm -mm. So the entertainment during the day. Hmm. Um, at night, they turn up at night. They It's usually late. A lot of their activities are late. So if you like somebody like me that wakes up 6 o'clock in the morning, not because they want to, but just because they used to getting up 6 o'clock in the morning, you better take a nap in the middle of the day because if not, you're going to miss everything that they're doing at night. Scarlet nice, uh, night was nice. It was different. Um, they did a couple of different venues. It was okay. It was an experience. I've been there, seen it, you know. Um, that's that. Uh, I didn't make any shows. A few of the people I went with went to the shows. They said they were okay. Um, I think they had a comedy person one night, but... I don't think I made that. Pajama party. The first night was just a bunch of people sitting around in pajamas um, up on deck. And they were playing music, but the music was okay to me. It wasn't the greatest. And I listened to all genre, genres, so it's not that I wanted it one thing. I, the problem with me was whoever was up there don't know how to transition. And none of that stuff went together. But other than that, still the entertainment was fine. I think I was more entertained because I was on with a group of people that are entertaining in themselves. But I got to go back on it, which I will I'll go back on it to see if how it would be with just a few people <laughs> or just, you know, two people. I have to see. But anyway, that was entertainment. The room. The room was nice. Um, Ikea-ish, but clean nice that bathroom baby you can poop brush your teeth and take a shower all at the same time the, i had a um sea terrace love the um balcony love the uh what do you call it <sighs> the thing you sit in <laughs> i can't even think of it but i love the hammock and after i sprayed it but I'm gonna spray everything, but that was nice. But it was just for me, too hot out there for me to be out there. I just could I was like, uh, every time I go out there, I would be out there for like five or 10 minutes. Up, uh, time to go. I'd be soaking wet. That bathroom, a zero out of 10, wouldn't recommend. It's even smaller than the bathrooms on the Mardi, um, Carnival Mardi Gras and the Carnival Celebration. Team, too little and no storage. Um, but other than that, I love the iPad with the controls. And Virgin has the best TV at sea. You can watch. They had about 50 movies. The movies were good. They had about, and then you can click over on the other side to like um, series that come on like every week that you watch. And they might have been older, but you can click onto the series like Chicago Med or you know, that kind of stuff. You can click on them and watch the series. And it might've been like some series a couple of years back, but it still was stuff that you can watch. And I was only on there for four days. And I really, next time I go back on there, I want to do longer because I felt like I didn't have enough time to lay down and watch TV. That's me, Judge and Mama. I like to relax. I'm on my cruise and just go in my room and just decompress away from people. And really during the day, since it ain't much to do, that's a good way of passing time. But I was with a group of people and we always had stuff do going on and we were doing stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. But the room, the room was nice. Uh, food. The food was good. For the most part, it was good. I mean, it's not far. It wasn't drop dead, fall out, fabulous like everybody been saying. But it was good. The only problem that I didn't like was that galley or whatever they call it. Uh, the first day, of course, you know it's going to be a lot of people sitting in there trying to get to know what's going on. So you know it's going to be crowded on that first day. What I did, so on the first day, you may or might not get what you order and you'll be sitting there for a long time. You, we already knew that was going to be like that. So, I mean, you can't really get mad about that. I just don't like that they have the same thing every day. It's like, it don't change. The only thing they change is like in the evenings for dinner, they'll have like a special 
um, for that evening that you can get if you don't make it to one of the other um, dining rooms or whatever. Um, and them hamburgers, zero out of 10 wouldn't recommend. Um, I guess I'm used to <laughs> God's burgers and the, don't bring me no hamburger without no melted cheese on it. Don't put no hamburger on my plate and give it to me. And the cheese is just standing up at attention like that. It just sent me over the edge. I know I'm easily aggravated, but no ma'am. Uh, yeah, that was the only thing I didn't like. Everything else was good. Loved unlimited sodas that you can get. You didn't have to worry about that. Um, and it's so funny that I'm a Coca-Cola fanatic. And... <laughs> I, yeah, I had my share of Coca-Cola. I think I was drinking more than Coca-Cola than I did anything else. I had like a $200 bar tab and uh, $300 from my Deep Blue Extras. And I couldn't, I didn't use, it was hard for me to use that to buy a lot of things like shirt because I wasn't really drinking alcohol because I was too busy drinking soda. I know I need, I need intervention. But anyway, I'm rambling. Next. Uh, the ports, I mean, it's a four day cruise, what you want? We went to Key West, been there a million times, but we had an awesome time at Key West with my group. We rented, um, one of those go-karts and rode around and had a, a great time. Bimini. Bimini was nice. Bimini was hot. The beach water was, um, bath water and so was the pool at Bimini, but it's nothing that they can do about that. It's just been super hot all summer. Um, the food was good to me on Bim Bimini, and I'm a hard sell. The food was good. It was a great, I'm glad they didn't have no hamburgers with cold cheese on it, so yay for that. Um, all the food that I had was good. Um, the red snapper, the, um, uh, curry chicken. I mean, it's not curry, like I'm a curry, but it was, it was good. It was edible. Um, and they also had the soda fountain out there where you can get as much soda as you wanted. The only thing that was asked backwards was how you have a soda fountain machine, but it was no ice out there. It was no ice to be had. If you wanted ice in your drink, the only way you was going to get it is if you ordered a drink from the bar. I do like that we could use our wristband um, out on Bimini to get drinks and whatever. And we um, hung at that second pool that was closer to where you eat at. And... It wasn't no problem getting drinks. So, and I know I've um, listened to other reviews and they were like, oh, it was hard to get drinks. We didn't hang out by the wild pool. I walked down there, got some footage, but no, we didn't have any issues with that. Um, what else? Uh, the beach had plenty of chairs, but I got out there early. Now, what I, what I will notice is you are not going to get a chair if you wait to get out there. I was fussing with my friends. I know they were laughing, but I was like, we need to get out there because if I don't, if I have to sit in the sun, I'm going back on the ship. And so we got out there about 9 30, 10 o'clock, which was a little later than I wanted to. But when we get out there at 9 30, 10 o'clock, it was almost no chairs left in the shade. So you have to get out there if you want to get a, uh, a seat in the shade. If you want to sit by the pool, I guess whenever they drop the anchor, and open the door, you better be standing there ready to get off because all of the um, seats in the shade that's around the pool, those those were gone. And those people that I talked to said they had been out there since like 8, 30, 9 o'clock whenever they could get off. So, I'm, I mean, that's a little extreme for me, but it just depends, you know. So, like I said, Bimini was nice. Um, debarkation. Chef Kiss. You pick your debarkation when you want to leave. Ain't to me. I don't think it was no announcements. If one, I don't remember hearing anything. I booked me um, a breakfast at the wake. Excellent. Ate breakfast because I had a late flight. Ate breakfast. Walked off the ship leisurely about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I think 10 o'clock was my um, debarkation time. Walked off the ship. No problem. Boom, boom. Took me, what, five minutes to get off the ship. Everything was, everything was, no stress, no, everything was, that trip was awesome. And I got on that ship thinking that I didn't want to sail and I hated that I waste my money, but I worked for no reason because I loved it. Um, the restaurants, I forgot to say in the food, I liked all the restaurants except, 
What's that thing that they went to the first night? It's red on the inside. Uh, I didn't want to eat there. And I went in there doing breakfast one time just to check it out. I didn't like it. Um, I love the wake. I loved um, Pink Agave. Those are the two best on there. The wake and Pink Agave. The um, Italian restaurant was good. Uh, and Gumbay was Gumbe was a nice vibe. Like, I was in Gumbay. I didn't want to eat. I was in Gumbe. I was, I was jamming. Like, they were playing all the old school hip hop. It was a nice vibe. Um, the food was okay. It was good. It wasn't, oh, goodness, but it was good. The vibe in Gumbay was good. If anything, go in Gumbay just for the vibe. You know, if you're not too particular with the food, which, like I said, the food wasn't bad, but it was okay. Um, you can always head upstairs to the um, galley because like one night they had salmon, mashed potatoes. They had a good little special that night. So they do have something that you can eat besides them. Um, hamburgers with cold cheese and um, the other stuff that they like to sell. But um, yeah, those are my favorite restaurants on there. Um, I mean, the corn that they talk about in Pink and Coffee, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, it was corn. Like it, it was corn. It wasn't bad, but I don't know what, I don't know what people eat or what they used to, it was corn. With a little garnish or whatever, a little sprinkle of salsa, it was corn. But other than that, that steak with the cheese on top of it, that was excellent. Their stuff was good in there. Um, so yeah, would I do Virgin again? Of course, I've said it several times, yes I would. I'm looking for a cruise now for next year. I'm thinking about going to um, Greece in May on Virgin. Um, we're going to decide this weekend if that's what we're going to do, but I need to do it because they have having a, um, a um, Labor Day sale and they're giving you $600 bar tab if um, you book now going to Greece. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But um, anyway, do it. Virgin Voyages, I'm going to give an 8.5 out of 10. And I definitely would do it again. Thanks for watching.